Hey guys, so today we're going to be working on how to make a scientific drawing. So I'm going to walk you through some of the steps so that you can do it on your own. This week you'll be drawing the pollinator and the plant that you would like to present. So yesterday you may have, or whenever you did the assignment for Monday, you may have written a paragraph about a pollinator, maybe a butterfly, a wasp, maybe you pick something else maybe a bird or a bat or bees. So what we're going to do now is we're going to draw that pollinator and then we're also going to draw the plant that it helps to pollinate. So these are two examples right here of a butterfly and the flower that it eats and the flower that it pollinates. So you can see that it's not just a picture. When we're doing a scientific drawing, we also want to add labels so that people can see all the different parts. Here are some tips to remember when you're doing a scientific drawing. So the most important thing is only draw what you see, right? So if you look at these, I didn't add any hearts. I didn't give my butterfly a smiley face because they don't have those things when you see them outside in nature. So sometimes we want, when we draw pictures, we want to make it really pretty. Um, we really want to focus today on just drawing the things that we can see and that's it. The second tip is use a pencil. That's going to be really helpful and you can go back and erase it when you're done and then add colors and lines with markers or pens or crayons. Another thing that helps when you're doing scientific drawings is to look for shapes in your drawing. So the first thing I'll show you is how I found different shapes in the butterfly that I'm going to draw. Um, you want to add in the little details. So you want to make it as real looking as possible when we're doing scientific drawings. And then at the end, we're going to add words to our drawing. So we want to label our drawing to really show people all the different parts. Okay, so today I'm going to show you all the steps I took to draw this monarch butterfly. So the first thing I was noticing is I see shapes in its body and its wings. So I kind of see this looks like a triangle to me. This looks like a triangle to me. I see this looks like an oval, oval, and then its little head right here. The antennae are there, they're really close to the body. So when I draw this at the end, I might add them farther out just so that I can really show where the antennae are. Okay, so here's how I drew all the different shapes. I did my triangles here. I kind of did a rounded triangle, rounded triangle, and I drew the different ovals and circles that I saw. And I know that these wings aren't total triangles, so I went in, I didn't even erase yet, you can see I still have those lines, but I added a little bit of a curve here, and a little bit of curve here to the triangles, and I kind of fixed the shape a little so it wasn't so straight. And I kind of brought the body all together, I did that line around it, because you don't really see all how separated it is there. This was the tricky part because butterfly wings have a lot going on. So I went wing by wing and I just, I was again just looking for shapes. I was just kind of trying to draw what I saw in the wing. And you can see I did that with shapes because I know that when I get my marker, I'm just going to go ahead and color it all in. So I just wanted to really outline all those shapes. I saw a lot of circles and kind of like rectangles and, and triangles in there with kind of smooth round edges. So that's how I added in my details. And then this was the fun part. I took my pen and I got to go over it and maybe even fix some things. So here the wing was a little bit separated. When I went in with my pen I didn't separate it because there's no separation here. So I kind of got to make it a little bit better. And then I took my eraser and I erased all the pencil lines. So the last thing we need to do is we need to add labels and then add color. So it was really important for me to put a title and put the name of the butterfly, right? If I'm not putting the name of the butterfly, then nobody's going to know what my drawing is really showing. So I wrote monarch butterfly nice and big at the top and I labeled all the parts. I used arrows and I showed the wings, I showed the head, the antenna, 
the thorax. You might remember earlier in the year we learned the body parts. So we did learn that the thorax was the middle part of the butterfly and the abdomen was at the end. I also added some other notes because my scientific drawing, I really want to teach people about the monarch butterfly. So I added that the body, I wrote fuzzy so that pollen sticks to it and I had another arrow. And I also wrote up here, we don't see the legs in the drawing, but I wanted to talk about the legs because they're important. So I said butterfly legs help them land on flowers and help carry pollen. And then I also added down here, we don't see the proboscis, but we also know that's an important body part, especially since we're talking about pollination. So I said butterflies also have a proboscis, which helps it drink nectar from flowers. So I made sure to really add as much information as I could to help other people understand pollinators and pollination. So remember, what you're going to be drawing is going to be your drawing for your presentation that you're going to make. So you want to draw the pollinator and plant you wrote about for your presentation. If you want to do more when you're done, go ahead. And right now, don't feel like you have to make a video of the presentation yet. We're just going to use your writing from before. We're going to use this picture that you make of your plant and your pollinator, and I will help you put together your presentation later on this week. The second thing I want to tell you guys is drawing takes a lot of effort, and it takes a lot of time and concentration. So if you make one, let's say you made your pollinator drawing and you're tired and you don't want to just right away start working on the plant, take a little break or maybe draw the plant that you're going to um, present tomorrow. Don't feel like you have to do it all at once. Take your time and if you're getting frustrated, take a break because sometimes drawing can be hard, but remember you have an eraser. So if you need to take a break, take a deep breath, get a glass of water, maybe stretch, go for a little walk, and then come back and you can use your eraser and fix it. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to help.